Alright, um, a special welcome to to you on this hour. You welcome to the Fat Farms YouTube channel. It's been a very long time now we do this last. Um, Alright, today I will be discussing with you um, Chaco Sports Business as well as the local marketing. But before I move on on the show, I would love to appreciate um, the new comments that the, the new subscribers as well as the existing um, subscribers that are sending me messages on Facebook as well as email. Remind me that um, I should just come back and do something, you know, release a new course. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you for at least stopping by, checking on the on the tube. Um, God bless you all. Alright, um, I will be using this video to answer a question um, in our private group that is Export Monarch Free. Um, community, someone called Mr. Shiji, something like that, um, ask about charcoal. That is, uh, uh, he would love to go into exportation of charcoal um, business. Well, charcoal business is very, very lucrative and something very simple to carry out. <clears throat> to me, charcoal is one of those uh, products, exportable products that you can export you understand without any long challenges you, you, you get what i'm saying because you don't have to wait um for a long period of time before you see the results um, so this is a example of the charcoal i'm talking about um as you can see uh, always been packaged you know, like for instance this one is ready for market right now you can see the way the woman is trying to package everything so there's everything about charcoal um, and it's very very easy to, to go into charcoal is everywhere in nigeria um, very very readily available for export products <coughs> what you only need is, is um uh, one to get order then two you need to know why charcoal as for this as a as why is it lucrative what makes it to be very very profitable and that's what i'm going to be discussing with you like i have said um i know mr Ashley is always on this um channel and <laughs> You will be very very happy watching this right now. I know some other people out there. All right. Um, I said charcoal. Uh, before we delve into the major thing about charcoal, actually, um, let's see the uses of charcoal. Um, charcoal is used for for in any style. That is, is for cooking. Yes. Um, the automobile. Uses um, as well as um, um, yes, horticulture in the um, as well as the for smoking and for grilling. So all these uses make charcoal to be very very hot in the market. I must tell you, even in the in the high end, when I say high end, I mean international market. In the high end, uh, people refer uh, the culture called black gold. You understand? They call it black gold. And when we are talking of gold, um, it, 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 you we all know the uh, the importance, uh, how important these things they are to us. You understand? So for those whites to, to be revering charcoal as uh, good, you know what it means. You understand? It, it, it means anybody who going to exportation of charcoal, um, you can never, never regret doing that. You understand? And you see, as technology is advancing, so the uses of charcoal. And I, I just pull about maybe five or six uses. A uh, charcoal has a lot of benefits to mankind. For instance, um, like August, I was in eastern part of the country, you understand, um, I went there to su 
supply uh, one of my agro products to one of a uh, food producing company over there. The CEO of that company <coughs> that day, as we were talking over at the company, he just was using so took me to his um vegetable uh, garden or maybe I just call it garden or farm very close to the um, to the to the industry you understand so he told me that he uses charcoal as the main fertilizer and, he, and if you see this vegetable the very very big you understand as in they look so sexy that's only where i can put it you understand they are very greenish in color you understand as in they stand out so i was like asking him what is the science between that you understand using charcoal to grow vegetable and you know it's amazing so that's just one of the benefits you understand that's one of the benefits if we, if we look at it in our local area here, you, you want to agree with me that people who are into this, they are doing well. You understand? I think a bag of charcoal costs around maybe one thousand five hundred or something like that. You understand? And this is something that if you get a bag, if I see they resell at the international market for which more than days, even in ten times. You understand what I'm saying? So this is how. It, this all this thing makes charcoal export to be very very lucrative you understand all right um you might be asking that okay uh, okay let me just assume that you don't know what charcoal is you understand uh, although uh, although the, this is a picture but just let me believe that you don't know what charcoal is right now so i'm going to start from scratch you know then telling you what charcoal is then uh, 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 be able to highlight the the uses right so let me tell you what charcoal is then from there we will, we will look at how to produce charcoal you understand now charcoal is a uh, uh, blackish residue that is in the remnant containing uh, I, I just want you to be uh, uh, you understand paying attention to some keywords here uh, or constituting you can put it that way or containing impure carbon impure carbon I actually don't know why talking and the writing is only very difficult for me containing impure carbon and some other some other substances so that is simple definition for for charcoal if you are seeing char um, I'm sorry let me quickly edit this so that you can see it very good is a blackish residue constituting impure carbon and some other volatile substances so that is the, the definition um, for for it you understand uh, um, by removing water and other volatile from animal or vegetation substance you understand now uh, how do we make charcoal you understand actually we are talking about exporting but i just want to get everything about it uh, there are two ways to do this you understand like i said uh, i'll be assuming as if you don't know anything about charcoal for instance so charcoal can be produced or is produced by slowing Slow eating of adults, um, so other things like sugar, yeah, like sawdust, 
uh, Igbo or struggles are where we have some dead pots. And so when you buy the bag at the end of one thousand five, this is something that you can see we sell for higher price in the international market. And so, so this thing is very very profitable. So very very profitable. Like I said, easy to start. It is something you can start today. Yeah, something you can start today watching this video now all right yeah, that's that about the benefits or why you want to go into uh, jacko export business now before you jump up and you say okay wow i found another um great product there are some things that you need to put at the back of your mind if you really want to be doing this as a great business commercial jacko is of three types yeah it's time and each has its own features, market demand and value price. This is where we started this video in this time. Commercial chapel is of three types, don't forget. And number one is that we have long agri chapel. We have briquet agri chapel. Then we have extruded chapel. These, these are the three types of chapel that we have. Yes, I'm going to show you one after the other. But the first two are the most common one in the market, long as well as the bucket. And they are the, the major two that's seriously battling it in the market. People are buying long, people are buying bucket. Yes, but long is very, very expensive in the international market than bucket. You understand what I'm saying? But I can tell you that Bricket has a lot of files out there than long. So just a, a, a lot of things about Chaco if you want to be going to export business for it. From what I'm saying now, you understand that um, it, 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 they, they have different types. Okay, let's look at how um, do you long Chaco. Now, in the beginning, I told you that um, there is a process called pyrolysis. That is the slow eating of hardwood. Hardwood like oak. You understand? I would like oak. I would like like mahogany. You understand? Something like onion or something like that. You understand? <coughs> All these things, when you slow eating them, you remove water as well as other stuff. And the remaining residue that we have is charcoal. Then we are talking about 100%. So using that method, what we are producing then is this. You guys me now. This one long is usually one represent natural. You get so in case you want to know, you want to go into this. Okay, long chapo is made directly from hardwood material and usually produces far less ash than the briquet. You understand now because uh, it, when you are producing long, you're eating um, the hard way, like I said. So, you have, you, you, everything throughout the process, everything is natural. You understand? There is no additive to bind them together. Everything you are producing is natural, unlike brokers. You understand now? Now, so the features of uh, long charcoal it has less ash content this is one of the things that you need to understand very well when you are dealing with charcoal because these are the things that buyer will ask you very sure of that these are the things that we are going to ask you long add with long charcoal it has, a, it has less ash content more responsive to oxygen made from hardwood and it's natural you understand light quickly burn water etc you get what i'm saying now so these are the features of long charcoal and it's more expensive you understand so this is an example this is how long uh, adrenaline will look like you understand so if you have seen something like this you know, definitely this is all it, it, it used to be very hard you understand when you just maybe uh, you use a knuckle to eat it you will be getting some kind of sound and so that's what we got to us long. It is always one percent natural and buyers appreciate it more than any other type of uh, uh, 
hardwood charcoal you understand so that's it about a uh, long hardwood charcoal all right there is a video in the group where we produce this thing live in the group okay uh, let's look at the second one we have brickwork charcoal this one is very very common you understand in the grilling um, environment this one and those this one is what those guys use for grilling you understand you can go to google and type the word grilling you see a lot of things that will pop so you understand so brickwork is the charcoal that they use in that industry and I must tell you, a lot of white are dying for this. And as well, they also use it for camping. You, you understand? If you go to Amazon you know, and you type something like camping, you know, a lot of things to study. You understand? So, <laughs> those guys, I, mean, I don't know, maybe they call it a uh, mountain biking and camping or something like that. Yeah. So, they go and so they use charcoal to cook. So this is the type of charcoal that they buy the most. You understand? So as well as those people who are uh, into grilling, and like I told you, they use this type. So how do we make this? Burger are made by compressing charcoal, typically made from sawdust and other wood by products, with a binder and other additive. You can now see that it, that is why it is not 100% natural. It is made by compressing charcoal. You understand? And um, some other thing like uh, sawdust and wood by product. So th that means here now we are not eating those hardwood directly. <coughs> we are compressing charcoal, maybe the one that we already have, or even combined sawdust. You understand? So it people usually have a kind of shape. At times you see O inside it, you understand. Know, at times it will be a as uh, something like that, you understand. Know, so what I'm just trying to put you out is that it's so you understand. Know, it's so very very well. You now there is a video in the group as well where we created this, we produce this, and we show it live to everybody. You understand. Know, now that's why you even brought the question by Mr. She. I would love to go into it. Okay, now other wood with the binder and other additives now let's look at the visuals it burns longer if you look at the visuals of a uh, lawn you will discover that from here this one burns hotter but maybe it doesn't stay long you understand now now but bbq uh, it burns longer you understand and easy to maintain temperature this these are the two reasons why those people who are in the green environment love buying bucket charcoal. You understand? So this is how bucket looks like. This is how it looks like. You understand? Like I told you, it has different shapes. You understand? Why a lump will always be like this? And so I just want you to look at it too clearly. Alright, so that's far as the touch is concerned because you know I told you I'll be treating the two major, these are the two major that those people will pay you to supply them. You get these are the two major that you ask you to supply. Now let's look at the packaging. You understand? Now if, if this now will now uh, determine if you are maybe targeting um The type of market that you are trying to penetrate you understand it's what we determine your package so you get now as i'm treating export business with you generally on this channel so i'm going to face export market you understand so but let me just quickly brief your market we all know that in nigeria you can put your charcoal in normal sack <coughs> maybe 25 kilogram or 20 kilogram Put it together. No, don't, one thing you just want to make sure is that it has no dirty. You remove nylon and some other cons. You just remove them from it. That's all. You can even package it in those uh, small, small black nylon. You can package it in polythene nylon and so people will buy it from you. You understand? But to me, um, I don't like retaining 
maybe I buy in bulk then I'll probably be selling one kilogram two kilogram I don't have time for all those things so what I do is you buy them in bulk maybe you produce you can even produce it if I will show you the link to join the group later so you can join the group you see how we produce the charcoal life you understand so you can produce it yourself and be selling that's which work you understand now so that's that's about local packaging you can put in a small island you can put in a sack then you supply your market but now if you are exporting it you understand um you understand you must meet the buyer's requirements that's the number one thing you need to put at the back of your mind you must meet up with the buyer's requirements and one thing that they require is um one um, the ash content the fuel type content you understand they are going to ask you those things now we are treating packaging don't let me know if that Chapel can be packaging bag like this in fact this is how you can pack package you can go to amazon and see something like this you understand this is the best bag they use over here and this type of bags you can get it customized for you right here in nigeria you understand i wish this type of bag you can see how good charcoal you understand on it already so this type of bag comes in five kilo kg 10 kg 25 kg you understand to my best understanding except if your buyer will be buying in bulk i will still explain why i mean buying in bulk to you you understand if your buyer will be buying in bulk most of the buyer will request between 25 and 30 kg so you understand because that's what they are using it for for green like i said you understand although they can that 30 kg can be something like in five places you understand what i mean and that is 150 kg or more but usually they will want it to be packed in 25 30 kg so that will be very easy for them to mail you understand what i'm saying and one thing is this most of these guys will always prefer you sending them sample first you get me now before they buy from you or if they have relative or um, an agent here they will want their agent to be the one to <coughs> to inspect the, the charcoal before paying or before buying from you before shipment in general i think you, get, you understand what i'm saying now so that we don't just go to your backyard and pack any out charcoal in the bag <laughs> and send to them <laughs> you get so most of them will prefer that they use their local agent that is the, the one they have been working with to inspect the the charcoal before paying for you but this is their normal they love something like when it comes in this bag like this it looks so professional and they, they love it that way so you can get it customized here in nigeria for you um 25 kilogram or 30 kilogram that's for um, those who want to start small that is small scale you know i told you that with charcoal you can start small very very small you understand right? with a very small amount of money you can get this started all right if if you have the money maybe you want to be doing it in container you understand usually um you can also export charcoal in 40 feet container you understand Inside the 40 feet container, you have anything between 22 to 23 tons of charcoal. You understand? So, you have anything between 23 to 22 to 23 tons charcoal in a full 40 feet container. You understand? So, here now, you can bag it like this the way it is here. Bag it properly like this, then you cannot open it you have to you understand seal the the mouth then you will put it inside your container after it has been inspected here you get then you put it inside the container or if the buyer wants it in bulk this is what i mean by bulk bulk shipment 
you, you, you yeah, that means you won't need to be waste money getting all the sack. What you just want to do is you will put everything in the box. Let me explain the box in the body. You understand? So I just want you to so you get the class ready. You understand? So when you are exporting in box, you put everything inside the container just like that. Okay. So there is no need of wasting money buying uh, all these things. And you don't need to buy a sack any longer. That means you don't need to go and customizing packaging like this. But before you can do that, that means you want to be trading in container in large quantity. You understand? So that's how that goes. And I told you that a 40 feet container will contain a charcoal of uh, 22 to 22 tons. You understand? In a 40 feet. So that's that's about charcoal. You understand? So where can I source for charcoal in Nigeria? You understand? Sourcing. And um, there are two ways that you can do this. And the best option to me that can make you to see a very huge return of investment is to produce it yourself. That is it. That's why I said you can farm or produce it. That is to produce it yourself is the best way. And I told you that producing it, you just have to get the um, those hook or other hard wood. Then you slow burning it. Yes. And that's the process of not just going to the bush. And <laughs> so, I said, Mr. Dinny said that after you said they burn any, any, any wood in our mind. You can farm it. That's one way. And another way um, in sourcing it is to buy from the producers, that is the manufacturers. When I say producers or manufacturers, I'm talking about the farmers. We are the one producing. <laughs> we are the best man. Mm. <laughs> you understand? So you can buy from the farmers directly. With that option, you are still going to see a lot of um. Um, profit yes doing that you're still going to see a lot of profit doing that as well you understand now so but if, if you are buying from some depot maybe in Lagos or in Nogo State um, you, you will see a lot of profit only that you know those um city merchants the place you should have like on their on their product so to me I prefer go into the bush and buy or produce myself so these are the areas that you can source um, charcoal from in Nigeria. You can get charcoal from Ibora, that, that is um, Chaki Ibora. You can get it from Benue side. You can get it from Oyo, Isheni, Chaki, um, Obumosho, um, Oshun, Ondo, Jeba, Umwaro, Ibi, Kaba, Mino, Jos, Kaduna, Pini. In fact, you can get it inside your room. Seriously, it's everywhere. Chaco is everywhere in Nigeria. You understand? The major thing today is that you need to know the type you are looking for. That is, you must be able to identify what you are looking for. And I've helped you solve that. We have long. Then we have weekends. You understand? So, this one is.
Now, having sorting out the um, body types, where to source for it. Now, the question now is where is the other of Chaco coming from? Who are the people buying Chaco from us? Yes, um, Chaco is a seasonal product. You get there are some countries that they buy from May through August. You understand? And there are some that they give all their order from January to December. You understand? <clears throat> but one thing that I know is if you play your card very, very well in Jacob business, you don't supply at all. You will supply two, three times within a month. If you play your card very, very well, if you are very smart in this line of business, those who are doing this locally, they can testify to what I'm saying. You understand? It is very, very odd. That was very odd. Now, let's look at where the others are coming from. This, like I said, this will depend on the market you are targeting. If you are targeting local market, then the selling of supply to companies within Nigeria, you can find them in large quantity in Ogun State. You understand? You can also find them in Lagos. You understand? Find those companies. If you need some of these companies, I have my number down the line so you can get across to me. You understand? Now, if you are targeting a sport market, here is a sport market for you. Jaco is a seasonal food, like I said it. But getting a spot order is almost 100% in 365 days. That is almost every day. You understand? If you know what I'm doing. How? Now, countries like Poland, France, Germany, Denmark give order from May through August. You know, I told you. Why countries like Kuwait, Israel, and some Asia countries they give out the order from January through December? So it is almost every day, you understand? So this is the area where you can get your buyer and solve that problem for you as well. Now, in the middle of the chain, you know, I told you that um, this buyer, there are very, very many. Even that's about one, two, three, four, five, six. That's about six countries for you to target. Even in normal international business, it is not it, it is not good for an exporter to target more than two or three markets if I'm just getting started. That is just the fact. Because that is when you can budget um or your advertising so you will know how to get them where to target. You understand? So that's why but that is concerned. Now I've solved the issue of getting the buyer, getting the jacko ready in Nigeria. Now let me now treat with you some questions that buyers will ask you. Number one, the ask content. They ask a lot of questions for real. Buyers are giving orders for Chapo from Nigeria and other African countries who ask too much questions like seriously. They want to know the ask content, the model content, one hour that is the volatile stuff. They want to know the type you are supplying, like I told you, the packaging and the mode of payment. Now, in cashew, uh, sorry, in charcoal business, I actually love cashew, you know why? Maybe because I eat it every day. <laughs> now, in charcoal business, we have two modes of payment that are very, very guaranteed letter of credit as well as cash against documents. You understand? So, um, you just have to know the one that will best work for you. The packaging, I told you that um, you can export um, charcoal either using those customized pack 25, 5 kilogram, 3 kilogram, 30 kilogram, and so on like that, or you export it in bulk. And uh, I told you that 22 or 23 tons of uh, charcoal will fill 40 feet container to put that at the back of your mind. You must also know the type of supplying. That's why you need to get yourself familiar to the group that we're talking about. Now, to get any answers, you know, I've answered everything on this channel. I have done justice to charcoal export business and supply here in India. So, you can easily join the group by visiting this link in this time. 
begin to don't tell me why for us last year she picked you or you call me if you are still having some kind of things you want to know about Chaco maybe something I don't really put in then do not be afraid to call me and let us talk it out together so that's for us that is the concern about uh, Chaco business today and I believe you have been able to gain a lot of things about it you understand so that's it if you have any question to ask that's my number and this point you can call me uh, either for other for maybe for export business generally or for chaco um the way i will be able to guide you through now to gain access to export money course you can easily go to u.ly emc it's true now let me quickly tell you something about sports modern course because we are changing things very soon i mean very very soon well actually we are going to the end of the year and to to go be the glory a sports modern has raised more than two hundred exporters right now as i'm talking to you yes a lot of these 200 i, I can tell you that i've Personally, myself um, register more than 65. You understand? Those things that I have helped to process the uh, certificate, both NEPC and all that. You understand? That means export money is delivered. That means the course is working. You understand? You can go to that link and you will see what people are seeing inside the group. You understand? So we give glory to Almighty God. So I actually don't know for what my dear point you done. You understand? But whatever it is, I think the best time you can get started is now. You understand? I will be trying my best to be bringing you on an episode like this anytime they are opportune. It is not all the time I will be having the time to be coming online recording a video like this. That's the reason I created export money to answer your call to answer your question that my mind are having concerning export business in general you understand but something great is coming into nigeria second saturday of december this year 2017 something great is coming right inside Ogo state well in my next video i'm going to talk much about that for you so with that i'm going to be saying goodbye for now and thanks for being part of my world since i sign out here i remain at the ready at the right for now